Hey everyone, Morgan here. I'm doing some traveling around this year, and I want to know, is my hotel lying to me? Here's some information about Hilton's online check-in. They say you can check in 24 hours in advance and pick your room, and you can avoid the front desk because they'll send you a digital key which will allow you to go straight to your room. Does that work? We'll find out. I'm staying at the Hilton Hampton Inn at Calgary Airport. This is um, not far from the airport, but it's kind of in an industrial area. Here's some information from the Hilton website that tells you about the property and the amenities and things provided for you while you're staying there. And here's a picture of the room that I booked. Notice again, it says digital key. We'll see. So inside the room, we have a little coffee pot, which is great first thing in the morning when you get up so you don't have to get dressed and go downstairs. And a view of the bathroom, I love that this property is offering a mouthwash with their amenities. A lot of the properties have stopped doing that and um, you know, that means you gotta carry your own or go somewhere and buy them, buy it when you get there. I love the shower stall here and the shower head was great. The, the water pressure was great and um, lots of hot water, terrific shower. They have connecting rooms if you need them. Beautiful king size bed, which was very comfortable. Nice 42 inch um, screen TV. And down below there is a microwave and a fridge. If you do like I do, you order from one of those delivery places and they'll deliver convenience store food and restaurant food. You'll have everything you need. This property does not have a restaurant, so just beware. Here's a view out back of the property. You can see we're in an industrial area with a big field in between us and the buildings next door. So there's the window. You can see it's all smudged with grease there. There's a big splash on the bed skirt. And on the back of the bathroom door, there's dirt and a big hair and chip paint. Ugh. Here's a view down the hall. Um, they do have an ice machine on every floor, and it actually has ice in it, not just dripping water. The hallways were very clean, very cool, it was very nice. Let's take the elevator down and have a look around. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this elevator is screeching and squeaking all the way down. It's really kind of creepy. If this was three o'clock in the morning and there was no one around and I was riding this elevator, I'd be a little bit worried that I was going to be in a Hitchcock movie or something. <laughs> but it's all cool. Here's the main floor. To the left is the pool and there are some changing rooms. Here is the lounge area just in front of the breakfast room. There's a big screen TV so you can watch the news and they have a great big fireplace that I imagine winter is lit. Very homely. That's the orange shuttle that we're picking up from the airport when you book it. As you can see, we're in an industrial area. Coca-Cola is across there with their factory and warehouse. Um, there's not much around here. Um, there are some other restaurants and hotels. And there is transit available at the front of the building if you want to go into the city. Otherwise, a car is necessary to get anywhere. There is a business center to the right when you, check, when you walk in the front door. And there's a convenience store. Um, the pricing is that of a convenience store. It's definitely not cheap, but it's not expensive. Either. I've stayed at some other Hilton properties where a bag of chips and a Coke is $12. So this place is absolutely normal start pricing. There's a view of the front desk area. There's a Hilton Silver member. I got two free bottles of water when I checked in. There's breakfast. Everything kind of frozen patty-ish. Um, it's okay if you're hungry. <laughs> There's a view of the front of the hotel. What do you think? Would you stay here? 
There are some positives and negatives to this property. The positives are I got what I paid for. Staff were super friendly. The airport shuttle was great. The property was clean and inviting. The negatives, however, were the online check-in and electronic key did not work until after you checked in. And there were some minor cleaning issues in the room. But would I stay here again? Yes, I would. I'd go back anytime. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.